Hey guys, today I'd like to show you some holsters I have from Raven Concealment, which is a company you've probably already heard of since they're well known for their extremely high quality Kydex holsters. I've got several of their Phantom holsters, magazine carriers, and their Vanguard holsters, and they all work great. They're very well made and they have excellent retention, especially with the Phantom. Your pistol is definitely not going to come out of this holster unless you purposely draw it out with force. The Phantom holster comes set up for on the waistband use, but you can also switch out the standard belt loops to make it work for in the waistband carry if you want. I can't conceal it very well because my body size is so small and my clothes are fairly fitted, but I really love this holster for on the waistband range use. It's really thin, but it's incredibly strong, and the shape is made to curve against your body to help with concealment, so that's really nice. This is Raven's main holster, so they do make it for many different guns, and they also have a mini Phantom for smaller 32 and 380 caliber pistols. Um, when you order, there are a lot of options. This holster is fully customizable, so you pick your belt size, the cut you want for the cant, the body shield option you want, and also the color, and they've got black or coyote. And they do also make this to accommodate lights, threaded barrels, thumb safeties, and all of that. So depending on what you need a holster for, they've probably got you covered. I have one for my M&P Compact and also this one for my M&P Shield. And I use my M&P Shield one at the range on just my regular daily wear belt. And I use my M&P Compact one on my Molly belt. For my M&P Shield, I got their standard cut, which has a 10 degree forward cant, and I also chose their short MD body shield option. This short body shield costs $6 more than their full body shield, but it fully clears your thumb, and I like that because I can get a full firing grip on my pistol before drawing. Their full body shield is their standard option and some people might find that more comfortable because it shields your body better from your gun and it also protects your pistol more and helps keep your shirt from getting caught in the holster when you're reholstering. For my M&P Compact, I also got the short MD body shield again, but I did get a different cut on this holster. This one is the minus MD cut which has a straight vertical drop and no cant to it. And this option costs $6 more than the standard 10 degree that I got on this shield here. Another thing I want to point out is that on some holsters for some gun models, like this one for this shield, you can also adjust your ride height and your cant a little bit by moving your belt loops up and down if there's an extra hole. I wanted to mention that because on my M&P Compact, there is not an extra hole, so you can't adjust this one, but on some models, you can. And as I said, it comes mounted with standard belt loops for on the waistband carry, but they do sell different accessory options for mounting that you can easily swap out yourself. For in the waistband carry, they offer regular and tuckable soft loops tuckable J-hooks, tuckable C-hooks, and offset wings. And for on the waistband, they offer standard belt loops, 
pancake wings, a quick mount strap, and soft loop wings. These are the regular in the waistband soft loops if you want to use this holster for concealed carry. And this is one of their on the waistband pancake wings which are nice because they're very durable and they bring the holster even closer against your body than the standard on the waistband belt loops. I really like that they're so versatile because you can mount them to either the outside or the inside of your holster and you can face the logo either in or out for different levels of tightness against your body. I have already attached my other pancake wing to this PPS holster and mounted on the holster this way it's actually easiest to thread your belt through it and you can also see how it makes the holster really low profile. With their pistol mag carriers, you've also got a lot of options. Um, they've got single and double mag pouches. These ones are all single and you can pick what belt size you want, what side of the body you want to carry it on, the cut you want, and even what direction you want your rounds pointing. I always carry my pistol rounds pointing forward, which looks like this. This mag pouch is for my m and shield, and this is just the standard cut. And I want to show you this one because it's a little different. This one's for my m and Compact, and this one has the MD cut, which is $5 extra. And as you can see, the lead corner has been trimmed off. I got this one for when I'm wearing it up in front of my left hip when it's my front mag pouch so that it doesn't dig into my leg when I'm sitting or crouching down. Raven also sells two different trigger guard holsters called the Original Vanguard and the Vanguard 2 or the VG2. I had been using the Original for a while on my m and Compact and then I got the VG2 for the Glock at the 2012 SHOT Show. I did do a full video review about Raven's Vanguard holsters a few months ago so if you do want more info on these the link to that video will be down in the description box. The original Vanguard is a very simple trigger guard holster made of Kydex that comes with a paracord lanyard so you can either tie it to an anchor point or you can wear it in your waistband. As I said, I've got this one for my M&P Compact and I've been using it on my nightstand but there's a lot of different uses for it. It is available for many different guns and it's only 20 bucks and I really love mine a lot. Then there is the Vanguard 2 which is a little more advanced. You can still attach paracord to it, but it also has a strut and a soft loop for more secure in the waistband carry. And it's made of polymer instead of Kydex. It's only available for Glocks right now, so this one that I'm showing you is on a Glock 19. And it does only work with Glocks that are Gen 3 and later. It also has a directional snap, so I really like that because it keeps it snapped in really solid and there's no chance of accidental release if you pull on it the wrong way. It's designed to be unsnapped by pulling on the top and re-snap by catching it at the bottom and rolling it back up. So it can't come undone by drawing the gun or by tugging on your holster. The VG2 for Glocks is $35 or you can get it for $20 from Raven if you buy it as their lanyard kit which comes without the strut and the soft loop. And also for those of you who know who Paul Gomez is, he passed away this summer. So Raven is selling a Red Memorial edition of the VG2 right now on their site as well. And lastly, I've got this prototype Vanguard 2 for my M&P Shield and this one is made out of Kydex. It is not actually available for sale yet from Raven, but I'm really excited that they're going to be offering this in the future. I did get to the range and I had the chance to use it, and it really does work great.
actually intended for appendix carry, but I don't find appendix carry to be very comfortable for me, especially while sitting since I'm fairly small and my jeans are quite fitted. Um, so it's nice that you can actually wear this holster in any position you want around your waistband like you would with a normal in the waistband holster. For their turnaround time, Raven Concealment is known to take a while since their holsters are in high demand, but they do have great customer service and they do an excellent job at emailing you the status of your order along the way. And they've also got some quick ship items that ship in 30 days or less. This M&P Shield Phantom holster I have is actually a quick ship item and so are all of these mag carriers. So if you guys have any questions, ravenconcealment.com has a great fax page that will probably answer them. And also if you're not sure what you want to use for your in the waistband or on the waistband belt attachment options, their site does have customer reviews under each product which might be helpful to you too. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. And thanks for watching. Bye.